Today we're going to move chrysalides. The first thing you'll need is something soft to put your chrysalis on. You'll need a pair of scissors, a small knife, some dental floss. I like to use dental floss. You'll need what you're going to mount your chrysalides on. Um, I like to use a stick and then I put my stick over the top of a bowl. So I'm going to hand the camera to my grandson and he's going to record me moving the chrysalide for you. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six chrysalides that we need to move. I actually have one that's going to be emerging tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and move him first. I take my knife and then I scrape at the silk that the uh, caterpillar uses to, um, to build its pad. And so you don't just want to pull the chrysalide off, you want to actually scrape the silk off. Sometimes it's a little easier said than done, um, but it can be done. And once you hit the, um, once you hit the right spot in the silk, it just starts to eventually come right up. So I'm gonna work at this for a minute here. And you wanna be really careful so that you don't, obviously you don't wanna bump your um, your chrysalis with the um, with the knife. Um, another thing you don't want to disturb is that little black piece. You want to leave that little black piece alone. I call it the button. So you can see I'm starting to get some of the silk up now. So I'm just going to keep working at this until it comes up. Now it's starting to come up a little bit. But you also want to make sure that you leave um, some of the silk attached to the button because you're going to need that uh, when, you, when you remount it. And I'll show you in just a second. So see, now this has come right up with just a little bit of effort. And again, I'm just going to keep working on it. I don't want to pull on it. Um, You can actually touch the chrysalide. You just want to touch it really carefully. Ideally, you would move them sooner than the day before they're going to emerge. You can see how much silk they actually put down to, um, to keep their, their chrysalis safe. So now that I have a good portion of it, I'm just going to pull the rest of the silk off to kind of get it out of the way there. Okay, so you see the silk hang, hanging here. What I'll do is I take this and I kind of bunch it up so that it gives me a point of which I can tie the dental floss to. So get that all wrapped up and bunched up like so and then I'm gonna lay it down on your napkin. I like to use a napkin because it's just a softer place for the chrysalide to lay. I actually draw quite a bit of dental, dental floss. Um, I draw out more than what I need. And then I take the dental floss and I make just a little half knot like so and then I take the little loop and I put that over the um, the silk and then I get it down close to the button but you don't want to uh, tie it directly onto the button which is why you leave the extra silk so we need to tie it and then I make a knot like so and then it's actually held on really secure because again the silk is really strong so then I take it and I make another knot and then I take my stick that I like to mount my chrysalides on and I slide it over the stick so once I 
have it over the stick, then I put the stick back on top of my bowl and then I tighten it. Not, not too much, just enough, because I like to be able to slide them around as I'm adding, uh, as I'm adding more chrysalides to the, um, to the stick. And then I actually make two knots here with the, with the dental floss to hold the chrysalide um, steady on the stick. I've actually made one knot before and had them come undone, which is kind of kind of strange, but um, it's happened two or three times. So I've learned to just make um, to make two knots. Just like that. And then I have my chrysalide mounted. So then I'll take hopefully I didn't tie it too tight. If I did, then that one can just stay right here. I usually like to move them more towards the center. But there you go, it's mounted. And then just take the excess dental floss that you have and just cut it. And I cut it to just make sure it's out of the way when the, um, when the butterfly emerges, when anything getting in its way, and cut it there. And that is how I move and mount a chrysalis. Thanks for watching.